A drop in altitude generates water flow in rivers and streams in nature. Obstacles, such as boulders, are surrounded by oncoming water, generate eddies and spray. Moments later, the currents will resume in a laminar fashion, easily navigated by its inhabitants. To generate water flow in the aquarium, it is best to use pumps dedicated only for this purpose. But until now, the actual effect of the current a pump generates has been largely ignored. To observe this effect, we are adding an airstream into the housing of a hydro wizard. You can see how the water and air mixture is distributed evenly throughout the aquarium. The laminar current generated by this pump is working throughout the 2 meter long aquarium. At first glance, a similar sized conventional pump seems to work in the same fashion. But the airstream is ejected from the flow of the pump much sooner and the current does not reach as far into the aquarium. The pump is generating a turbulent current, quickly hindering the flow, less than ideal for both aquatic animals and oxygenation. To show this more clearly, we have placed a hydro wizard in direct comparison to a conventional pump. The air bubbles show the effect of the hydro wizard and the advantage of laminar flow. To observe the actual current, we will use dye in the water, as it's more easy to see on camera. Uranine dye is a fluorescent coloring agent that is environmentally safe and frequently used in water research. The crystals are dark red, but turn bright green in contact with water. For this purpose, a weak solution of 0.2% seemed best. The moment the crystals come in contact with water, they produce a fluorescent green coloration. Only a very small quantity is needed. Even at 1 ppm, the coloration is noticeable in the water and makes the pump's performance visible. The Hydro Wizard in this test aquarium is still turned off. We now add the dye and start the pump. Slow motion video demonstrates how the Hydro Wizard is pulling in the dye and forcing it out into a laminar stream. The actual current is only in the center of the green cloud. Sped up to real time, you can see that the laminar current generates very little turbulence and quickly reaches the other side of the aquarium. By comparison, the same test performed by a conventional pump produces a very different result. Within seconds, the turbulent current is widely distributed and powerless. Looking at the film side by side, you can see that while the Hydro Wizard has already transported the dye away from the pump, the conventional pump has fanned out the colorant and produced little actual current. In slow motion, you can also see that the large casing of the Hydro Wizard allows the pump to take in all the dye, while the tight casing of the conventional pump causes it to miss transporting much of the colorant. This test demonstrates the great advantage of laminar flow over conventional pump technology. See for yourself how the Hydro Wizard changes the conditions of your aquarium in a more natural and dynamic way.